girl. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. <sighs> this way. We should have a good view from up here. Uh, okay. Here we go. You see anything? See some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp. It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Shit. There. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <laughs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! Look, I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. They make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Uh, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Watch out! Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. You could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. <laughs> So, what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type, by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there. General... Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Ha! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> we 
Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> and you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? Free. Spino. Alignment. What? Spino. Alignment. The Lord God Almighty. Or who, whomever built it. But our brains in here, but our soul is in our back. You, sir, your are your back. I told you to stay hidden, Arthur. Let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave now. Come on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. There's a man coming. Just play it cool. He might not know the situation here. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. I think we should be okay now. We're far enough away. We could have done this without killing anyone. What are we doing off the road? It worked out. We got everything we needed. That's not the point. It might not have... What if there were more people around we didn't know about? Deal with them too. All right, fine. It's done now. Let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and turn this in. Slow it yep. down a bit. Back on the path. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there.
Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. All right, girl. See what I can do. I'll just... Oh, yes. Yes. Looks like I don't need a man's help after all. Oh, God! You're a cruel man. Yeah, welcome. Well, I use this space as a blacksmith, too, so... Let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Ah, uh, let's have a look. Good, good. 
can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. I got some nice carved stocks here. I think you should take one. Smile on your face, guaranteed. Yep, this is the one. It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. Fine piece. Carry it with pride. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. You'll love it. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. Uh huh. <clears throat> Yours now. Yeah. Oh, I'm real excited to try this. That is a lot. Okay, girl. Move already. Let me take a look at you, tough guy. What did I do to you? Oh, see, huh? you ain't tough after all. Beating up half a saloon like that? Near killing Tommy out in the street? Keep your opinions to yourself. You're next, okay? Don't fellers like you ever get bored of pushing folk around? Get your head out of your ass. Your friend had worse coming. I let him off easy. Leave me alone. Hey! Don't point that at me, you sick bastard! Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um... Uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you.
Hello, Arthur. Mary? Uh, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. I... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Maybe you shall see. Help a blind man. 
take this. Your father is seduced by the one with the forked tongue. It's no use hoping. Uh, sure. Okay, mister. <laughs> All the best now. Yeah. 